Hello there, this is uh, Retro Spirits Guide presenting uh, Fighters Mega Mix on the Sega Saturn. This is the lovely Sega Saturn dashboard as we are uh, cruising through space and it looks like a leisurely pace. Um, I've pressed start application and it's taken a while to boot up. Here's the Sega logo and uh, here's a title screen. Uh, that's unusual. Uh, we're going to uh, look at some formation video here. Uh, FMV, as all the kids call it these days. Um, here's some particularly bad CG models of the characters you will find in this game. Oh dear, look at those trees. And um, that haircut. Look at his eyes. Look at his background. Yeah, this is all pretty rough, isn't it? Um, again, Sega spending lots of money on pre-rendered CG. Oh, it's the girl from Aliens. And um, Wolf's got a massively oversized shoulder. It's a fat dude. And there's a dude being slapped in the face. Here is a ninja in high heels. This is a rock god. And that is um, uh, Whitney Houston. And this is the dude with the crazy hair again and a ninja. Um, ooh, we've got some shiny, um, shiny top bodices things there. And um, some people having a kip. There's nothing more exciting than uh, a fighting game where two of the combatants are sleeping. And we have a WWF wrestler. And this is Virtua Fighter uh, mixed with Fighting Vipers and um, several other Sega fighting franchises in a sort of a mega mix, if you will. And here you can see the character select screen. Um, plenty of characters. You can pick a the car from Daytona and you can pick a giant bear. But we're gonna pick, we're gonna pick Jackie from Virtua Fighter. And we're gonna probably pick the easy, easy course as I'm by no means an expert on this game. Uh, there's a giant sort of um, cactus you can fight as well. Yeah, it's got a bit of a, uh, an eclectic cast of characters, this game, but it is your standard um, Virtua Fighter-esque uh, control scheme. So you've got three buttons, get your guard, punch and kick. You've got a slightly jerky frame rate at some points. Um, the way that wall clips isn't particularly pleasant, um, but it is fairly responsive. Yeah, so you've got your guard, you punch and you kick. You can press uh, combinations of those buttons with a directional input and you get things like throws and you can chuck the dudes into the cage. Um, you can also knock the armour off of these fighting vipers fellas. Um, yeah, it's fight, it's mega mix. Um, as you can see the characters have got uh, light sourcing and Girard shading, um, which is uh, there's actually the Fighting Vipers conversion on the sand. Um, the character models are fairly detailed. Uh, the resolution is not Virtua Fighter 2 standard. Um, so yeah, what we've got here is a bit of a mishmash between um, all of Sega's 3D fighters on the sand in terms of technology and um, cast of characters. And it is fairly uh, entertaining in short bursts, uh, although the graphics, especially for these caged arenas, are slightly tatty. Um, the announcer sounds like a very, very old man, which is uh, amusing to some degree. Uh, I'm just getting used to Jackie's moves here, because I'm not, a, not naturally a, uh, a Jackie player in Virtual Fire, I'm more of a wolf dude. Um, Tokyo, I don't really know his moves at all. Um, there we go, I've just done a shoulder charge and I've knocked off Tokyo's armour, revealing he wears double denim, which is never a good move, is it? Whoa! Got a hyperactive camera when you win. It completely went nuts there. Um. 
We've got a match with Pi here, set in an infinite arena. Um, you can't get ring outs, and you can't bash people into the side of the cage. So you've uh, not only have you got a mix of characters, you've got a mix of fighting styles too. Uh, the music is all um, very well produced, but that um, that voiceover dude, he does sound like he's um, just about to um, hit the grave, to be fair. Oh, Pine's trying to do some sort of magic massive kick on me. Uh, never been into Virtua Fire, um, the core series. I find it's okay. Um, I didn't mind the Fighting Vipers so much, Fighting Vipers 2. Um, this game is certainly um, easier to control than, say, Virtua Fighter Kids, even though you have some of the Virtua Fighter Kids in here. Um, because Virtua Fighter Kids, you just couldn't judge the length of their limbs. Uh, this does have some cartoon characters with big heads in, so um, they just chucked them all in together, and it's crazy. Got a dude with a skateboard here, and uh, he's uh, he's probably so gnarly he's going to kick my skinny ass. Yeah, yeah, I'm not any good at this game. Um, you know, as is common with all of my videos, I'm pretty poor at playing all of the games. I just enjoy five to ten minute knockabout in most of these things, and. Um, That's all you need, really, isn't it? You know, pass a bit of pass a bit of time. This game is uh, sort of ten to twelve English pounds on your Sega Saturn for the Japanese version. No idea for the PAL version. Don't have a PAL Sega Saturn. But for twelve pounds, you get a slightly ropey game. Um, visually, um, mechanically, it's Virtua Fire. So if you like that game, you're going to like this game. Um, and you do get the oldest ring announcer ever recorded. This track is a bit too rocky for me. It's a bit too, uh, a bit too obviously metal. These backgrounds, uh, in terms of the ones that are in the vista, the distance, pretty rough, aren't they? They've got some sort of pre-rendered elements and naffly hand-drawn things. Um, the ground isn't made of polygons, the ground is that infinite plane thing that Saturn can do. But the walls are polygons on these stages, and they clip off and on very disconcertingly, which I've mentioned before. But I thought I'd just point it again. Point at it again. Um, here comes Shun, everybody's favourite CG drunk, uh, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> I do like just making crap up. Oh look, I sort of kicked him as he was down. That's not very sporting of me, was it? Yeah, they, although they did um, some nice light source shading on some of these Saturn games, um, garage shading, they never really did the skinning. So, as you can see from um, as you can see from Jackie and Shun's models, they are disconnected. Um, primitive shapes, arranged in a vaguely human form, and animated as if they were a continuous body. Um, which gives you, um, I guess, uh, more power to play with on the sand. I don't know how much um, skinned uh, meshes cost to render, but Jackie's arms there, definitely floating through his body. Which uh, I always find a little odd. PlayStation definitely had skinned characters in its fighting games. Um, some of these characters, though, are a little bit more complicated because they've got multiple costumes and bits you can knock off. Uh, this is Whitney Houston here. She's dressed as a. Um, is that an inline skater uh, ninja? She is kicking my ass. Um, yeah, kick me in the balls when I was on the floor. It's nothing less than I deserved. So for £10, yeah, I mean, if you're a bit of a completionist, it might be worth getting. Um, if you like Virtua Fire, it might be worth getting. 
But if you've only got a passing interest in fighting games, especially 3D ones, uh, even, even for 10 quid you might want to think twice about it. Um, like I say, the comedy value of fighting someone with a car, uh, like a, the wheels of the car are the fists, um, does wear thin pretty quick. But hey, throw people's heads into the floor. The camera on the replays and the camera at the start of the match, I don't know if that's on purpose, but it looks fundamentally screwed. Anyway, this video is not much longer than this because the older Sega Saturn uh, and uh, capture device don't really play very well together because this game is one of those ones where the resolution will change between the title screen and the actual in-game graphics thus rendering my capture device um, confused to a point where it will stop capturing. Look at that! Oh yeah, removed that armour to reveal um, a low polygon lady. Yeah, so um, it doesn't doesn't like the old capture device, so I'm only really going to play this through with Jackie. And uh, yeah, 10 quid, it's alright. There's nothing special going on in the manual. Like, there's no. It's not like the artwork's amazing on the on the uh, the CD uh, or the manual. So you're not even getting something nice to look at for your collection. You are getting a competent 3D fighter. Can't say fairer than that. All right. I'll catch you next time. Ta-ra. Fight. Ready. Go. <laughs> Fight! Ready, go! Ready, go!